All right, we're going to try and see if the set screw will come out now um, after soaking overnight. See if you're on camera, sort of. So let's see if this moves. Uh, nope. It just wants to pop out of there. Ah, there we go. Well, that's good. So the set screw is moving. And we'll see if the blades move as well. And like we've seen with the other Westinghouse, uh, the fans, the set screw is rounded at the end, although this is not knurled, it's a smooth surface. Interesting. Okay, so the blades did come off, much to my surprise. The, the piece of brass didn't work. I used a really small ball bearing that sat just proud of the opening and I was able to they popped right off of there. So that's not so bad. Next will be to get more dust out of this, clean up the blades, see if we can get the motor apart and get it as clean as possible. So that's the plan for now. All right, so now with the blades off and the motor out, it's kind of interesting to notice a few things about the motor. Uh, first of all, the, the paint is amazing. All of the, the front screws here uh, and on the back, the bolts, everything's got the paint. Let's see if I can show you that. Uh, sorry about the shade, but it's got all the paint on it from when it was sprayed, I think, at the factory. I'm not sure that this has ever been apart, this motor. Um, that doesn't mean it's in good condition or bad, that just is kind of what I'm seeing. The surface of the shaft where the blade hub uh, or sleeve, whatever whatever the hell that is, it's not exactly a hub, um, but that must be what we'd call it, uh, is very, uh, <laughs> very smooth here, like freshly machined. I don't think that's ever been off of there either. Here's your opening for your uh, set screw, and, uh, and it turns fairly freely. I don't find any a little tiny bit of play up and down and there's no not a little not a lot of play in and out. Uh, and it doesn't really move that badly. Um, you know this will need uh, this is perhaps the bottom of the motor. I think the oil opening is down here. It's all going to need to be cleaned out, uh, pulled apart, but it's just interesting to see the paint looks really good. Again, I just don't think this has ever been apart. Still dust everywhere. Uh, I haven't had a chance to dust this off or anything. Just took it apart and sprayed the penetrant on this deal. So it'll be interesting to see how much more it cleans up, if, if at all. Um, I'm not sure if these are self-aligning bearings or not. I don't really know how this works. Um, and there's your little uh, housing box uh, for these splices. The wire looks, the, you know, the, the plug in the cord are really in nice shape. Hopefully we can just uh, get as much of the dirt off of it and get it back together. The next biggest question is going to be this. Is it worth taking this apart? I'm not 100% sure. It's been really nice and warm today, so I kind of want to, tomorrow rather, so I kind of want to just hit this with the hose, get it all cleaned as much as I can of the particles anyway, as you can see. Um, and then just get this done. The problem is it's still got gluing that needs to be done. We still have broken parts. So maybe if I decide I'm not going to pull all this apart, I mean really we just want to see this run. So that means the priority is the motor. Uh, however, uh, the question would then be, is it worth pulling all the, this off of all this or should I just super glue what I can and then wash the thing down? That's what I'm starting to wonder. Um, it's going to be nice and sunny tomorrow and uh, so I might be able to get that done instead of taking all this apart. I mean, the really issue is I just don't want to run it and send someone else's sawdust all over the house. So that's sort of the point. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to sleep on it. Um, but it certainly would be easier than taking it all apart, mainly because of that screw in the center there. Um, although maybe I could get to that. I don't know. I have to think about it. Path of least resistance for now, you know, and then maybe, you know, if it gets restored, I mean, because of the brakes, it's really not, you know, 
it's not really a restoration candidate because of the broken plastic parts. So, um, you know, for now it'll just be a survivor and then maybe someday in its life it'll get traded or sold and become a parts fan for something else that has better condition. I don't know. We'll see what happens with it. But it certainly is cool to see the, the color. The paint looks really good on there. I mean, who knows? I, it's possible that all the sawdust is what kept this from rusting. <laughs> kind of like those gelatin packets or whatever. You know, it sucked up all the liquid and there was no way it was going to rust. So we'll see. Um, i got to think about that. If you have any thoughts on that, let me know. Uh, and uh, there you go. There's your Westinghouse Riviera. And hopefully a good amount of this will clean up. We'll see. Uh, all right. Thanks for watching. All right. Now I'm starting to understand what's going on here. And this is never coming apart. <laughs> uh, I was hoping that these plastic rings were not uh, attached, but they're literally sandwiched inside, I think, this deal here, this metal thing. I just can't figure out how it all goes together, and I'm not going to destroy it just to figure it out. I guess I have to give this a little more thought, but it looks like this is all there's only one, okay, here's what I got. There's one screw here, and it looks like there could be screws here, or those are just molding marks. We've got these here, but these are not connected. These are just uh, to connect the uh, front and back grate to. So we've got this whole setup that's sort of magically attached somehow, uh, and I'm not really sure how. Um, again, the only thing I can see is this one screw over here maybe there's one under each of these little circles I don't know but it's a hell of an awful lot to go through Jesus Christ so I've got three broken areas I need to glue this one this one and it's separated from one of the connectors I'm just gonna glue all this shit back together and then uh, try and clean it out with the, the spray hose gently just to get some of the sawdust off of it but I don't think the rings are all coming apart it's a little above my pay grade, as they say. So uh, if you have any thoughts, maybe this isn't as bad as it looks, but it just looks like it's all stitched together in a way that I'm not going to be able to get it apart. So that's kind of what it looks like right now for the Riviera fan. So that's the next, uh, that's where I'm at now. All right, here's a little update. We've I've done what I can do. I've uh, put a little super glue here and here. Uh, this broken nub, I can't get it to stay. It's not going to glue itself back together. Uh, so I'm not sure what's going to be the future of that part. <laughs> it's definitely going to rattle if it sits there like that when it runs. So if it runs. So we'll see what happens with that. The other thing is, uh, if you can see down here on the inside of the stand, there's these knobs and these uh, pieces of metal. I think this is a locking mechanism. I first thought, first I thought it was an adjustment to be able to lift it up and down. It doesn't seem like that's what it is. Probably you can tighten those two screws, as you saw over there, to add pressure to make this tighter. That's probably what it's for. Um, interesting. Um, nice and well made. You know, that's what's great about these old fans. Everything is nice. Um, except that it's made out of plastic, which is kind of a dumb idea. The bigger ones of these, the bigger Riviera fans have metal rings, and those are obviously, you know, Plastic is just a bad idea. Because we're going to break it, man. All right. So um, I've decided just to glue it together and hose it out. I'm not going to... Uh, th this is all connected. This metal thing has... It's folded in on itself. And then there's... I don't know. I think there really are. There really is a screw under each one of these. It's hard to see in the light. Sorry, guys. And I just glued it. I don't want to move it around. Uh, so this whole thing, I'm sure... There's no way I'm getting that apart. That's crazy. So I'm not going to do it. Uh, we're just going to focus on getting the motor cleaned uh, and oiled and uh, clean it as much as we can. See if we can run it. That's what we're going to do. So that's the plan on little Westy here. Uh, it's an interesting ride. Uh, I'm sure it's got more secrets to tell. So uh, stay tuned for more videos on uh, little Westy here. Thanks.